for those of you that are new, welcome to Birth and Bosses with Felicia. I am Boss Lady Fee, guys. Listen, this is probably going to be the last video for the night. My engine is stopping running, okay? It's stopping running. Um, so tonight we're going to be working on our last set of gifts for tonight. Um, and I don't know exactly all what I'm going to put in these baskets. But we're going to get started, guys. And whatever I don't finish, I'm going to see what you guys' idea is for me to continue to put in these baskets. Okay? So I've already put my newspaper in it. And just going over with our gift tissue. These baskets, by the way, are some baskets I got from Dollar General. Um, I think it was part of the summer sale. Yeah, the purple dot um, summer sale. I don't know um, how much they were at the time. I know I bought a lot of them at regular price, and this particular size was only $2. And um, these baskets were definitely worth the two dollars so i um bought a lot of them at regular price and then i think i got some of them when they went 50 percent off so i paid anywhere from one to two dollars for these baskets and they are really really good size for those of you that have found them you know exactly what i'm talking about When your brain get in a slump because you've been working all day, don't um, just force or just make something work that really doesn't work or really doesn't go together. But um, go ahead and prep your baskets for the next day or, or next few hours. You're going to get you some rest and get back started. Just go ahead and get you some items prepped so you'll have a fresh start when you start back now for me it's gonna be a start for tomorrow okay because i've been up since um uh, what time did i get up might have been about seven something i got up and started designing and i already had a really really late night well might have been about eight something when i got up yeah maybe eight could have been nine i know it won't later than nine I got up and started designing, and it was after 2 o'clock in the morning when I got home. So, I already had a really late night and um, had an early start. These cute pictures came from um, Dollar Tree last year. And when I seen them, I already knew that they would go perfect for Mother's Day or even Valentine's Day. So I went ahead and picked them up and put them in my stockpile. And I think I've seen them one more time since then. I'm gonna check tomorrow to see if I can find some more of them. Because I absolutely love them. I think they're so cute. The only other thing I'm sure of that I'm going to put in here are these candles. And I know it's making y'all think about Christmas with the red and green vibes. But when I finish, it will not say anything about Christmas. really supposed to keep these tags on the bottom of these um, candles. It's really illegal from what I hear to take the, the tag off the bottom of it but because it has the directions for the flames and how to handle the candle. But anyway, I just took the little part off with the, um, with the price.
But let's be honest. How many people go up on the bottom of the candles and read the directions for the burning of the candle? Not I see the cat. Gonna be using these strawberry pound cake body lotions. these candles. Yeah, I know some people think that um, cranberry jalapeno jelly candlestick and I'm going to be honest, it has a strong aroma to it. Like when you just smelling it. But when you light it up, I just love the smell. I guess it's like an acquired smell or I don't know. I just like it. Maybe it's weird. I don't know. I'm thinking maybe a bear, a bear right here. A bear and we'll probably do some candy. Maybe that, just to fill in some of the space. I'll put some more candy on the other side, maybe. All right, so we got those three somewhat prepped up. Not really, really, but somewhat prepped up. We're going to put a bear there I'm sure y'all I have so many of these little bitty bears to me this I just can't do it it's just not proportion right to me like I mean you can make it work but being that this is a medium sized basket I don't want a medium sized bear to offset the size of the basket you know what i'm saying like to me it's just too small but, um, yeah so we're gonna do that for these three and then for these little small ones these baskets here were a dollar original price and probably like 50 cent with the sale dollar general as well so these are small baskets, of course. So this is going to be for some inexpensive gifts. Again, these are not gifts that you're going to break the bank off of. But these are gifts that you can make small and simple, inexpensive to give people that really don't have a lot of money. But still give them the opportunity to buy. Everybody pockets ain't the same. I've been there and done it, okay? So I realize, you know, sometimes people want to buy and they don't have it to buy. So we want to give them an option. I don't want to just throw something together, but we want to give them a cute little option. And I'm going to tell you guys what I plan to put right here in this space. I don't have any here. But like I said, tonight I'm prepping up, trying to prep up. At least another 15 to 20 baskets. So tomorrow, all I got to do is wrap and roll. Wrap and roll. Okay? But my plan is, is to probably get a um, dove bar to go here. Either a dove bar or the dove cream. If I can find some. Excuse me, y'all. If I could find some at... um. Dollar General, cause I'm not paying one twenty five for it at um, Dollar Tree. So if I can find some there, I'll get it. If not, I'll use the bars of soap, cause I can get it from Roses, less than a bar, dollar a bar. Probably about 
about, I guess it runs about 95 cent a bar. It runs. And, you know, a lot of people be like, well, it's not that much difference. 30 cent difference. But, yeah, 30 cent is a big deal when you're making hundreds of baskets. It's not that big of a deal if you're making. To me, it's a big of a deal, period. I don't care how many you're making. But more so if you're making 25, 30, 50 baskets, I can understand. But when I'm making hundreds of baskets, all of my money count because I'm trying to make as much profit as possible. With me working as hard as I work, I don't want to just get by with a little bit of profit. I want to get by with my maximum profit amount. So, this is how it's going to be for these little baskets. Of course, I will show you all what the completed look looks like. And I'm probably going to sell this little thing here for $15. I would have spent, let's see, 10 cents. 33 cents, 43, 50, 93. I'm probably gonna be gonna spend like $2 on this little basket. And we're gonna sell it for 15. Not a great big profit, but not a great big item. You know what I'm saying? Just a little small something. Some kids might wanna get their mom a little gift. And Dove is a very, very popular brand, so. You know, to be able to offer something with Dove in it for $15, I think that's quite amazing. You know, I'm sure you can get $20 for it. As a matter of fact, I know I could get $20 for it. But like I said, certain things, not many, not trying to be funny, but not many things I let go for a cheap price um, just because I got it for cheap. But items like this, I will. And I do. Because I've had the same clientele, most of my clientele, for over 20-some years on the streets. Same people, of course, each year. It's more and more new and different. But for the most part, these people have been coming to me for years. So I like to give them options. And a lot of people get stuff for their coworkers, people on their job. This gives them the option to do that without breaking the bank. All right, so guys, we're going to do a couple more of these, and we're going to set them to the side, and tomorrow we will have a jump start. It won't be like we're starting over from scratch. Sometimes that can tire you out just knowing that you got to start everything all over again that you did the day before. Y'all know how it is like when you got to clean up behind the kids. For those that have small kids, I'm out of those days. But for people that have small kids, you clean up just to wake up the next morning and have to clean up all over again. And it makes you tired just to even think about it. This how it can be with these gift baskets sometimes. But we already got a huge start. We got a jump start on tomorrow. Just a good night's nice rest. Plenty, plenty of water. Make sure you stay hydrated. Working like this all day, or however long you're working. And uh, that's it, guys. We're going to end this video because I know my energy is very, very low. Y'all know I'm not a low energy person, okay? So, we're going to go ahead and wrap this video on up because it's dragging. <laughs> I don't like the drag spirit, okay? So, we're just going to go ahead and end this video. But you guys see we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight baskets prepped for tomorrow, y'all. It's a winning, winning situation. All right, see you guys tomorrow. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell. Boss buddies, new boss buddies, existing boss buddies. Thank you guys so, so much for sticking and staying and rocking on this channel. You guys rock. I love you. And meanwhile, get your money, honey, and fill your bag. Till the next video. Bye.